not even sure what to talk about this week. I, I haven't watered yet this week. Um, cause I'm still recovering from that back surgery, right? Insurance said that they would cover me sending my laundry off to get done. Um, so I packaged that up in bags this morning and left it on my front porch for the laundry service to come pick it up tomorrow and deliver it back on what day is it going to be Tuesday. Um, cause I definitely shouldn't be lifting that much and getting it in and out of my car to a laundromat and everything. So, uh, hopefully they cover the whole thing cause a bunch of those fleece blankets needed to get done cause Georgie was sick and sneezing all over the place that week after I had back surgery too. So I have not watered yet because after back surgery, instead of taking 45 minutes, it seems to take me three hours to water everything and I needed to take a break. It's going to get dark soon and I don't like watering them right before dark because it'll cool down and I don't like having the plants cold and wet. Um, so this is what they look like in their dry state. It looks pretty much like what they look like in their wet state. Oh, this pole, it was all sorts of wobbly. I think I might have shown it to you last time, but now it's sturdy. I finally felt good enough that I took these three lights off of it, um, tipped the pole, and then uh, tightened the screw at the bottom there. I think it's some sort of hex nut or something. Um, so I tightened that. The one that's all the way at the end, I swear I tightened it a couple months ago, but it's already a little bit wobbly. That one would be a little bit harder to tip over at this point because I got so much stuff in here because... You know, I've got a plant problem. <laughs> um, being in here right now kind of motivates me to water them, though. It, as as usual, it is very nice in here. Um, what else? Uh, I've been talking to the contractor who's going to fix up my bathroom and send them off a list of, like, what color and tiles and stuff everything should be replaced with because if I get the opportunity to rip up the ugly stuff that was in there before I'm definitely taking it and put in colors that aren't all hideous and this monstera dubia really really hates it uh most of the leaves are going I I mean I didn't want to leave it where it was before because it needed to move because other stuff was going there and I wanted to get everything into these um, shelves here, but I don't know. Wait, this looks like Simon, but Simon's not over here. Simon's somewhere else. Wow, he's grown a lot to get all the way over here. Okay, good job, Simon. So a lot of these plants are kind of sulking because there was a move a couple months ago onto these shelves, so their lighting changed, and it's colder this time of year, and there's less light coming from outside, so it's all just from the lamps. So I I think it's just uh, too many changes at the same time for them. These are doing well. Um, what else? I'm working my way over to the window again because it was snowing this morning. Um, didn't necessarily want snow because I wanted to try to go outside to do this vlog. Uh, it didn't happen, obviously, uh, until later today. But it's it's nice out there. It's it's melted a little bit since then. Um, what is it? Mid February, so like maybe a month from now, I'm gonna go put peas. And the uh, broad beans out in the garden. I mean, they, they themselves are seeds, right? So I'm going to go put those out in the garden to hopefully sprout soon. And somebody told me that um, I should go put Swiss chard out there too, Swiss chard seeds. So I think I'm going to put them um, on, how to describe this, the, the peas trellis that's closest to me right now. The ones that I had beans on last year. So... Between that trellis and me, the, the bed, the 8 by 4 foot bed that's between me and it, I think I'm going to plant the Swiss chard in there uh, and see if it comes up or not. Because there wasn't, I mean, there was kind of a big sage patch. And otherwise, I guess most of it got shaded out by the rhubarb growing in. But I don't know, maybe I can stay on top of chopping back the rhubarb. And I also think one of them might have died. Last year, maybe it was too hot or something. I don't know. So I think there will be room for it. So we'll we'll see. But I definitely want to plant it because I want more greens. Because I can't grow lettuce here, right? Because it's too hot for that. So 
Do you see how much this wobbles? It's not good. I gotta tighten that again. Um, there's those peppers that I've been growing in. You know, that one orchid leaf kind of bothers me. It's not the best. Oh, and the moringa tree isn't the happiest either. I don't know if it's because it's cooler or what. So I'm trying to shimmy over this power cord from the fan here without falling over and dying. So let's, I don't know if I can get this down there well enough to see all of the peppers, but hopefully you can see the ones that did grow in. I did just water this stuff the other day though, because it was looking really, really dry. So all of, all of the food right here I watered and then also the little nepenthe seedlings up here and then the trees inside that shelf over there I watered. What else did I dump a little bit of water on? That might have been it. Um, I definitely need to water these orchids and everything else, but my back feels a little sore from all the laundry stuff this morning, so I'll probably, I'll probably end up doing it tomorrow and I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna show off these cute little glabrata pictures. Look at how adorable they are. They're so tiny. So, um, like I said, I wasn't sure what I'd talk about this week. Um, most of the seedlings survived. I moved this one monstera over here because it was doing real crappy and I accidentally knocked it over last week, actually, when it was on the, the wooden shelf behind me. Uh, these three survivors are doing okay. One of them had bit in the dust, but okay, I mean... I have too many plants as it is anyway. Uh, veggies still doing okay. Kind of hungry. Maybe I'll go. <laughs> Maybe I'll go grab something to eat. I think I just had breakfast so far today, and uh, might be three or four already. Cabbages are still okay, man. They're kind of etiolated because I don't give them enough light. They won't make heads. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll take them out in like a month. Oops, because those definitely don't look like cabbages, right? Like, I'm doing it wrong, and I know it, but there isn't room in here, and I had back surgery and all sorts of other excuses. Oh, I should maybe dump a little bit more water on the passion fruit pots. They are thirsty. Well, um, maybe that's it for this week, a little bit short. Uh, not too much going on with the plants. Oh wait, we should look, nope, that hasn't really done much either. That one flower stalk on the dense floor by Rob Cantlei, barely done anything, so good. No work for me, don't have to harvest pollen. See everybody hitting the ceiling already? <laughs> oh, maybe I should string it up on some of these poles here. Sort of like I should, I should still take that passion fruit and string it up. So I had to move this cart because I thought that I got water on the outlet that's back there. Um, so I had to shove it aside and like towel dry the wall and hope for the best. There's no fires. Uh, I moved those veggies a little bit away from that door because that door has the electrical stuff like the fuse box. So I went to go turn it off just in case and dried everything out and then moved this cart back. But when I did that, the, the big huge passion fruit that was climbing up the wall kind of fell and maybe it's okay if it falls and kind of curls around in the corner there because it's sort of bright and there's room so it's fine. Okay, uh, that's definitely it. Uh, till next week. Okay, bye.